Hi dear, good afternoon, good afternoon. How are you all doing? I really hope you are doing fabulous today. So I'm just going to read a scripture. I'm going to pray. And I hope this word bless your heart. I'm not so hoarse as I am a couple of days ago. Thank the Lord it's getting a little bit better. So before I get into the word, I'm going to try and sing a little song. Yes, I'm on the roadside because I'm coming from church. And um, sorry about the bike, okay? So I'm going to sing this like a song. I came on business for the king. I came on business for the Lord. I here on business for the King. Bless the Lord. I'm a bit hoarse. I'm not a great singer, but I just want to say that little song. And before we get into the word, I just want to give God thanks. It's a bit hot, you know. England is getting, weather is getting so warm. Yes. So let us quickly pray. Eternal God and our Father, I give you thanks and praise and glory for today. Almighty God, I thank you for life. I thank you for health. I thank you for strength. I thank you for your grace and your mercy that sustained me throughout all my life and especially throughout last night and to bring me into a new day. Almighty God, I don't take it for granted. I know it's your grace and your mercies that are sustaining me. I'm not special, nothing great about me. It's just your goodness that is running after me. Father God, I thank you for your goodness that is running after me. Mighty God, where would I be today if it was not because of you, Father? I would be dying gone. Father, I thank you for my listeners. I thank you for my subscriber. I thank you for my viewers. Mighty God, I pray that you will touch their life today. I pray that you will touch their heart. I pray, divine God, that you will minister to their heart, Father, and bring them back in alignment with your word. I thank you for your people across the globe that will see this video. Ah, God, I pray that you minister to their soul. Let the word go down inside of them deeper. Let it cut them. Oh, God Almighty, out. I let it cut out, out of them whatever need to come out. Ah, God, I pray, divine God, that you will minister to their heart and their soul in the name of Jesus. Remember the children across the world, Father. They are the man and woman of tomorrow. Minister to them father let them know you show them who you are father so they can know the power of, of almighty god and to have a revelation of you lord i thank you for your word that i'm about to read as i give you thanks in jesus name amen bless the lord in here is a little bit hot yes man let me turn on the ac make it warm make it cool down the place it's just in your heart to say but I give God thanks. Hey, sometimes we got it so cool. Sometimes we have it so warm. And God can't please us, you know. But God understands us. That's a good thing about it. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Let me just get into the word. So the word that I'm bringing today is Jeremiah 3, verse 12. Hey, beautiful scripture, you know. Let us go into it. Jeremiah 3, verse 12. And it said, Go and proclaim these words towards the north. Say, return thou backsliding. Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, said the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thine iniquity. Hallelujah. That thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, and hast scattered thy way to the stranger under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am married unto you, 
and I will take you one of a city and two of a family and I will bring you to Zion bless God and I will give you pastors according to mine art which shall feed you and knowledge and with knowledge and understanding and it shall come to pass when ye be multiply and increase in the land in those days said the lord they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of the lord neither shall it come to my mind neither shall they remember it neither shall they visit their visit it neither shall that be done anymore praise god you know many a times we backslide sometimes we are in church and we backslide because we are not following the commandment of god i myself have backslidden and you know one of the dear the deadliest thing that happen when you backslide you develop a sense of pride you don't want to go back to the lord humble the devil is telling you, don't bother go back, man, because he want to keep you in sin. He wants you to stay in sin and for you to die in sin so you can't get a hold of your soul. But let me tell you something. From you were born, and if you are a child of God, and God has put his mark on you, the devil cannot hold you. Don't allow the devil to lie to you and to tell you that you don't have to repent. You have to repent. And go back to God. Because God will not turn him back on you, you know. God is not that type of God like human being. God is a merciful and a gracious God. He's not like me and you. Who will revenge and, and forgive and going on with yourself. Once you turn to God and say, God, I am sorry. And you said it from your heart. And you meant it. He is ready and willing to receive you. That's the type of God we serve. Yes, don't allow the pride that the enemy put in you to take you over. Go back to God himself, married to the backslider. And once you have gone back to the Lord, he will have mercy upon you and he will forgive you. Let me show you how he will receive you. There's a scripture, I think it's in, in um, Luke 12 or Luke 15. Let me look for it. I think I Luke 12. Luke 12. Luke 12 it is into. Is it a Luke 12 or Luke 15? I tell you what he does. Bless the Lord. It's Luke, Luke 15. It's like the parable of the last son. Yes? I'm going to read it quickly. So the parable of the last son is in Luke 15, verse 11, and it reads, And he said, A certain man had two sons, and the youngest of them said to his father, Give me the portion of goods that fall to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after the youngest son gathered all together and took his journey, into a far country and they were uh, and they wasted his substance with riotous living and when he had spent all the 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 there arose a mighty famine in the land and he began to be in in wants and he went and joined himself to a citizen of the country and he sent him into his field to feel to feed swine and he would and he would faint and fill his belly with the us that the swine did eat and no man gave unto him and when he came to himself he said oh many hired servant of my father have beer of breed enough and to spear and i perish with hunger, and I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned and against heaven and before thee, 
and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servant. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a, a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in my and in thy sight and and am no more worthy to be called thy son but the father said to his servant bring forth the be the, the be the best robe and put it on him and put a put a ring on his his hand and shoes on his feet and Bring um, either the fattest calf and kill it and let it eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. And now his eldest, eldest son was in the field. And as he came and drew nigh to the house, he heard a music and dancing, and he called one of the servants and and asked what these things mean. And the and he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father had killed the fattest calf, and fattest calf because he had received him safe and sound. Praise God. This is how Jesus receive us when we backslide he will receive us and give us the best because his desire is to save our soul his motive is to save our soul so if you are backsliding today jesus will receive you back jesus will hold you with open arms he will welcome you with open arms so backslider Go back to Jesus because he's waiting to receive you with open arms. You will find few persons who will show you the cold shoulder because the devil likes to show up when God is about to give you a breakthrough. Just like this brother that is in the scripture that, that, will, that was not happy that the father killed the father's cow, calf. The father gave the, 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 the instruction to put a ring on his finger the brother was not happy let us look at what the brother said and and he said unto him thy brother had, thy brother is come and thy father had killed the fattest calf because he had received him safe and sound and he was angry and was not in the in dear therefore came his father out and entreat him and he answered and said to his father Lord these many years do I serve thee Lord these many years did I serve thee and neither transgress I am and I I am I neither transgress I at any time thy commandment and yet you never gave me a kid that i might make merry with my friends but as soon as this thy, thy son was come which had devoured thy living with Arlat, thou hast killed kill for him the fattest calf and he said unto him son thou art ever with me and all that i have is thine it was meat that it, we should make merry and be glad for this thy brother was dead and is now alive again bless god hey jesus is welcome us when we backslide that that, that, does, that doesn't mean that we have to go purposely and backslide and expect him to welcome us you know because it's not every one time we backslide god uh, welcome us home sometimes we never have access to kill us before the enemy will use people to show us the cold shoulder because he doesn't want us to 
convert back to Christ. Listen what um, Romans 8 said. Romans 8. Listen what Romans 8 said. And I'm going to leave it there for now. Romans 8 said, There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Listen again what Romans 8 said. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So, God is showing us that there's, he, He's not going to condemn us. Whether we, whether, when we backslide, He will take us back and welcome us back into the fold for us to serve Him. So, Father and God, I thank you for this word. I pray that it will enter the heart and life of my listeners. I pray, divine God, that you will, you will give them the revelation and the, and the desire to serve you and to come back to the fold in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that it will enter their heart, it will enter their mind, and it will enter their soul, and it will take root. Let your word do the work that it set out to do. Father God, you said we are clean through the word. I pray that your word will clean somebody's heart and soul today and bring them back in alignment with your word. In Jesus' name, I give a thanks and I give a praise. In Jesus' name, remember to like up this video, to comment, to subscribe, and most of all, if you are backslide, and you have, have returned from God, come back to the fold. All you need to do is say, Father, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. Forgive me for all my wrongdoing and help me to live for you as I give you thanks and praise and I look to you for strength and direction now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. You can say a prayer like that or you can say it the way you are led by the Holy Spirit to say it. But just commit your life back to the Lord because the Lord is waiting on you to receive your back. In Jesus' name, amen.